what's up guys welcome back to the channel this your boy jay to the all in this video i'm going to show you how to quickly get started making beats in persona studio but first there's one thing you need to do you need to find some melody loops i don't care if you're using lander because they have melody loops or if you i don't care what type if you're just googling free loops or even if you loop using free loops you found on youtube find some free melody loops that's the quickest way to get started making beats in persona studio one and i'm going to show you why i feel just that so right here i bought some stomatic loops okay these are stomatic loops boom uh ain't nothing in them where the loops ain't nothing in them ain't nothing in them those are the milli midi all right there we go there's the wave loop so then you just find whatever loops this is a just melody so that one is pretty dope that one is it's in f minor you have your your bpm and you have your key so we'll just bring that over here that's all, that's all you got to do bring it over there and then the way these loops are we won't even try to chop them up hey so we'll bring that up to 127 they already locked in you see how easy that was it's already locked in Okay, so now that you got that locked in, find yourself some 808. Not those. Uh, let's see here. We'll just do your basic Lex kit. So let's come over here. Oh, my headphone is shortened. Uh, let's see. What was I? So that's an 808. We'll send that to a sampler. Then we want we want a kick. We'll send that one to a sampler. Hi hat. We'll send that one. Crash clap. We'll send that one. I'm just picking random sounds for right now. Now the 808 we know it's in F minor, right? So then you want to come over here to your mixer and uh 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 where's 808? This is 808 right here. We'll leave this up for now because we're going to use this keyboard. We're going to add a tuner plugin. Okay. Turn that off. This is going to tell me what key I'm in. So we'll say if this was a 61 keyboard, C3. Sound like what was that? A sharp. We'll say it was A sharp one. So A sharp one. There's another way. There's another way that I do it too. But uh, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do it that way. Now that now that we've done that, then uh, we'll go out to two bars, and we're just gonna find the key which was f minor so we want to lock that key in and see and start uh, making out an 808 pack so come over here we're just gonna highlight that duplicate it out and start moving around I'm just kind of going what's in my head right now which is kind of like a one, two, three, one, two, three. 
boom so we're gonna take that copy it well actually we're just gonna duplicate it and uh and move it down here so we want to mute that out because that's kind of high We'll drop that down here. So now we know this melody is up way too high. You can't even hear what you're doing. So we're gonna bring that down so we can hear our drum. Stand that out a little bit because we're not gonna add that in there. And now let's add a hi hat. Boom. Well, we may as well do the clap too while we're there. Ah, oh, messed it up. Ugh. Okay, so now we'll add the hi hat. This is how I do my hi hat. I just draw. We're going to do it like that and just duplicate it out and boom. Now, then I like to chop it to 16th and now let's come down here to the snare. Usually C, like I said, C is going to be in the middle. Uh, so you just go in the middle of uh, one and two, which is always gonna be on 1.3, 2.3, put your snare. Hey. And there you have it. Uh, so he, so this is what the beat sound like so far, but then we gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna tell you, I'm show you how to do that. Okay, so that's that. Then what I do is duplicate this track. And then we duplicate that melody. Now, so we gotta have a chorus, and you gotta have a um, you gotta have a chorus, and you gotta find some way to separate the chorus and the verse. So what I like to do, the, you know, when I'm doing these quick beats, I'll take that one track um, that I'm gonna use for the chorus, and we'll add two ways you can do it you can add this auto filter to kind of add some variety in it just add it and play it and just experiment now let's say you don't like that at all and you want to change it up add your EQ Add your EQ. Then you come over here to low cut. Put it all the way down to. Um, we just want to solo that. Put it all the way down to 48 dB cut. Then you want to come up here. Do the same thing for the top. And. Uh, oh, that shit ain't working. Do the same thing for the top. Well, let's just use this up here. Wrong one. Ugh. And we want to bring this down because we want to raise these mid. We're going to cut off the highs, cut off the low, and kind of raise the mid. It's, it's going to sound like this. Now, you're going to see why I did that. All right, now what? Now that you've got that all done, you can unmute everything. Just start pasting out, pasting out. Uh, so you got 33. What I like to do is I paste it out a little bit, then I duplicate it. Then once you do that, you kind of just put your uh, uh, your little arrow button somewhere in the song. Come down to the bottom, 
and go to seconds so you can see how long your song is so that's two minutes and 57 seconds that's about all these songs be nowadays now what we're going to do next is this is what we're going to do next so now that you got that done this is kind of long this is like 17 bars so we're going to take this is what we're going to do we are going to bring this out okay and then we are going to remove this so this part is going to be pretty much my verse so but we're doing the intro so we're going to take out the 808 for the whole intro and it's going to sound like this let's take out that too yeah uh yeah yeah hey 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 then watch the chorus come in hey see what i'm talking about then if you want to you can come over here get this crash Ugh. add that crash kind of separate it even more and then let's see if you got a reverse uh, that's a boo-boo reverse We're gonna add a little chant. That's all I'm gonna do. And then, so so we won't have to do all of this. We're going to come over here to event. We highlighted it and we mix down selection. I mean, not mix down. Bounce down that. Eh, we won't even do that. F it. F it, champ. We just leave it like that. So now there is your course. Okay. Then you know on this loop, that's going to be my whole verse. So I can just take that out. Uh, just take it out. Uh. Then we'll just come over here. Uh, uh, just move that. And we can just move that all together. I might need that. And uh, this is what we're going to do with that. We're going to move that down there. Then move that back up. You see, how, you see how this do this? You see how this do this? So that's like a minute and 55 with two verses. But we got to come up right here and redo this. Move that down there. And move that down there. Uh, now, if you want to get funky with it, you can add, you can add, you know, a hi hat right there. It's a, once you get that bass down, man, you can do a whole lot of stuff to switch it up. Like right here, like this is the end of the verse. So we're just going to drop out some of the drums. See how they go? See how they go? Then we'll come over here and we're going to drop out all the drums in the beginning of the second verse. Except. Ooh, I hear no crash. Where's the crash? I where my crash went. Uh, we want to follow up with that player. I done hit something because we ain't got no crash. I done hit something. Anyway, we'll come back to that. See how you switch that up? Hey, we'll drop that out again. That snare is kind of loud. We gonna have to get it right. Uh. Then watch this. Uh. Yeah, we gonna get come through the bottom again. 
Everywhere body the same. I be like running the same. That ripping, that flipping, that dipping, that thing. I don't see sense of sound. Ooh, dope, dope, dope. You can add as many verses as you want to now. Chorus eight bars versus sixteen. If you're in double time, you're gonna do double that. Mm. There you go, folks. You got a quick, stupid beat, and we can even. You can even if you wanna just add like a little bit more uh, intensity. Go on and bring that uh, that damn uh, verse track in that second chorus. What that sound like? And just leave it there throughout because you done created some drama. And then to add it even further, if you want to change it up just a little bit more, hit that like that. Hit uh, change this to 3 to 132nd. And I'm going to show you why we're going to do that. It's just amazing the little stuff that you can do to kind of switch it up. And then you hit that like that. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's do that like that, and then, oh, no, we're going to erase that, and then we'll duplicate that part out, then we'll duplicate that part out again, then you'll shrink it down even more, three, four, so there's one, two, and then four, now listen to that. There you go, folks. That's a nice, simple beat. If you're just starting out making beats in FL Studio, I mean, ooh, I said FL Studio. In Persona Studio 1, this is the quick way to do it. As you can see, there's numerous ways you can do to make that one loop interesting by just adding drums. That's just a few examples. I ain't cut out none of this stuff. It's just so much that you can do just starting out and make good, tight beats. This your boy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.